have to say, we, we do finally have a bit more information and it does make quite a, a disturbing read, the allegations that are made uh, in this um, co, co co-authored piece between the Sunday Times, the Times and Channel 4's dispatches. Um, of course, we had that video overnight with um, Russell Brand denying any uh, serious criminal wrongdoing in this case. We now know, though, what the allegations are. Uh, they relate to a seven-year period that took place during the height of Russell Brand's fame, so within the period of 2006 to 2013. Four women have alleged sexual assaults and, in one case, rape. Um, this was a time when, at one stage, he, he was presenting for BBC Radio 2. Also, uh, before that, he was presenting for uh, Channel 4's uh, Big Brother's Big Mouth. Now, one woman, woman alleges that Brand raped her uh, over in Los Angeles uh, later on during this period um, when he was working in Hollywood as a, a film actor. He's, she alleges that Brand raped her uh, against a wall in his Los Angeles home. Uh, a second woman, uh, relating to a case in the UK, alleges that Brand assaulted her when he was 31 and she was 16 and still at school. Uh, she details uh, a couple of occasions, one of which where he sent a driver uh, to pick her up uh, and she says he referred to her as the child, recommended she, she read the book Lolita and she says he was emotionally abusive and controlling during the relationship that they had, which lasted for about three months. Now, a third woman claims that he sexually assaulted her while she worked with him in Los Angeles. And the fourth woman that has been willing to go on the record, all of these women uh, have wanted to, to protect their an anonymity in this, though, but the fourth woman has described being sexually assaulted by Brand uh, and him being physically and, and emotionally abusive towards her during a relationship that we had. Of course, we know uh, overnight um, Brand preempted this. He uh, went on the record, putting on YouTube and his social media platforms his denial, saying he vehemently uh, disputes uh, and refutes all of these claims that are being made uh, and uh, putting that video out on social media. Let's hear a short clip of that now. Amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. That not only does this really open up the fact that um, Russell Brand uh, clearly will have to answer many of these allegations and, and we will expect, we, we certainly know that tonight he is um, performing a, a comedy gig in Wembley, so it's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goes ahead. But this also opens up really a whole can of worms for the BBC and Channel 4 as well. How much of um, they, the allegations that are made, whether or not they were actually across uh, any of this and were aware of of um, this before these claims have been made at any earlier of date. So it really is going to be interesting to see how this story develops now and really a lot more questions for the BBC and the Channel 4 and Channel 4 on this.